Hello there, welcome back to the big board. We are picking up where we stopped off uh, as we were looking at the uh, the EFS system and the victory conditions that are uh, tied to the campaign game for Army Group South from the Barbarossa series. This guy, right? And we're now coming back to look at the board and have a look at the supply system and the rail network and the road network and see how if there's any any meshing of uh, of networks and victory conditions that, that make any sense to us in terms of trying to achieve goals where to focus our effort as a, as a as the German planner and then hopefully we'll take a look at this with some units on the board and see what difference that will make and also uh, out of that, we'll try and evolve a strategy for defense as well, which I think will be fairly difficult, but we'll see what happens. Okay, let's let's get into it. So the first thing to note is that the supply is somewhat abstracted. I'm going to talk about general supply only. We're not going to talk about attack supply. The attack supply is specifically uh, used for combat circumstances and we're talking about keeping guys in in general supply which is if they're not in general supply it's going to have a negative effect on your movement rate and uh, some other bits and pieces which are not relevant that's not what we're talking about right now so what we what typically happens is a unit can count seven hexes not seven movement points but seven hexes and it says up to seven hexes from itself back to a road net which would be either one of these roads, uh, a, I just let's call this, so these are major roads, and uh, or a red road, which are, there are none on this map, or these maps, uh, that is a major highway. So we count seven hexes back to that, and then that, once we touch or get to a point where we wish to then begin counting, uh, just one of the clarifications I had to make. Uh, we get, uh, we then have 21 hexes that we can count back to a rail net, and that rail net then can uh, basically track an unlimited distance back to a supply source. And we'll look at where those supply sources are in a second. So, so if we have unit A here, he's going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven back to there. Or you notice I'm on a on a road here. I can still count the seven hexes across so I can avoid going around. I can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to here. And then 21 hexes back to a rail that's converted, which is one of the things we've got to factor in here. Uh, and then uh, hit that rail and then we, uh, we then go back to a supply source. Let's have a look where the supply sources are. Down in the south, the first supply source is here, that pink cube in Romania and that is a major road and rail and we would begin rail conversion from Western Gauge to Eastern Gauge sorry from Eastern Gauge to Western Gauge right here and the primary VP locations and objectives are all over in this neck of the woods and as we uh, come over here we want to look at the eastern sorry the western edge of the map and Western Poland I call this Prussia in the other map, so don't yell at me, people. But uh, Western Poland uh, supply sources are major roads and rail nets that go head off. So one, two, three, four here, five here, another rail road here. All of these, if we merge them all heading up in the northern section of the map, they all kind of converge to here. And there's another one you know, down through Lvov, of course, uh, down here. Lvov is obviously a hub. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six major roads coming in there. And there's uh, a rail heading in and out. So critical, critical location to be captured. Hence the four VPs. Oh, sorry, it's more than four VPs, I think. It needs to be captured by turn four. And it's five VPs. Uh, if you capture it prior to turn four or by turn four, I should say. So <clears throat> we've got we've got this uh, this supply net working backwards now. So we go across the rail using the rail, and then we uh, 
we are looking at where the map edges are for the east, uh, the eastern edge of map E. I believe this is this map B. I can never keep these numbers. Yeah, map E. And this is where we're going to be. So we're going to have to convert rail from all the way along here in the first six turns. And then I was looking at where are the different locations where I can pick a rail and major road network, ideally, to have one focal effort on converting rail so that I can try and drive towards a, uh, the most efficient means of counting supply, counting back to general supply. And a cursory look has shown me that if I want to work backwards from Kiev, given that's, you know, that's by turn 15, I need to capture this guy and pick up the uh, eight VPs there. If I want to achieve that, is that entirely possible? I count back by seven hexes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from Kiev, and then 21 hexes back this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, back to here, 19, 20, 21. But 21 doesn't leave me doesn't leave me in a situation where there's a, a uh, rail net hex. So this is where the major road and the rail cross right here. So that's kind of a, a nice little junction. Now I could also go back this way. I can count the, you know, basically 28 hexes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So right here is another location. That's where that rail net connects. And then by looking at this and this and tracking, tracking them back to where the rail, where the rail nets are, where the convert can, you know, I just use the, the, the border of map E as a, as a reference point. And we're going to trace, we would have to trace rail, which from here either goes here and down and across or up, uh, so it kind of ends here actually, right? And, and meanders back up this way, then goes around through the marshes and all that sort of stuff. So it's kind of messy, but we would have to go back towards this direction here. So in fact, there's another location. Where's that map edge right here that we could look at in terms of conversion, right? And that railroad also runs to here as well. So. I missed that one last night, so I'm glad we're doing this video because let's put this little marker here. This might even be a faster way to do the conversion. So what we're doing then is looking for locations like these two locations that track back to this location or this location or this location. And we're allowed to convert four hexes a turn maximum of any single rail line. So if I, let's assume that I've, I've done 31 hexes from here, uh, and then we've, we've come along, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna convert one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It's 18 to here. Right? 18 to there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, fifteen to here. So now you can start to see, you know, divide all these by four, right? And this is how many turns it's gonna take. And so it's eighteen to here, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven to here. Now, 11 to here, that's gonna be divided by four as well, right? So that's about three turns. This is four and a half turns. This is uh, whatever, four, eight, 12, three and, a, three and a half turns. So that's seven turns of conversion that have to happen. Seven turns, we can't enter this, we can't leave this area of the map until after turn six. Turn six plus, turn, plus seven turns, gets it to turn 13, which means 
if we could get units up here prior to turn 13, it wouldn't do us any good because we'd be out of general supply. So it looks like a fairly finely tuned little exercise that would, uh, that would mean we're going to have to run to try and capture Kiev to have a turn or two turns to actually reduce the city and capture it, capture both the hexes. Because by turn, th it's only going to be about turn 13 or thereabouts that I have, uh, assuming everything went perfectly well, that I would have the conversion here. Here it would be, um, this is four. Uh, that would be three turns as well. And this, I said this was four turns. So that's seven turns as well. So either way, it's about seven turns. So it's going to be 13 turns before everything up to here would be in supply, assuming no uh, interference from the Soviets and uh, optimized uh, rates of movement and all that sort of fun stuff. So that, that's pretty interesting. Now down in the south, it's a different story. I, I was also looking to see, was there one rail net that we could convert that would allow us to supply everybody? Uh, I think you could use this, you know, once you've got this sorted out, you could certainly continue your conversion down to here and put most of this area in supply, put this area in supply pretty much, you know, counting back from here. Uh, over down in this neck of the woods, <coughs> while the terrain is tougher, the, the distances are shorter because we, we, we can start, we start our conversion right here. So I found all of that pretty fascinating that, uh, it looks like the Germans have a, a, a huge task ahead of them here to really uh, uh, try and achieve the, the goals that were put in front of them with a single army corps. Um, and the game, I think, tries to represent that fairly accurately. Uh, I did. I did also have a look at uh, you know where, where the rail lines were exiting from that part from the southern part of Map E onto uh, onto Map F down below there just to see what the conversion rates would be. But as you can see, there's not a lot of, not a lot of opportunity for VP capture in this area. One, two, three VP locations. We're, we're potentially better off capturing this section and then driving through here, capture, and then moving this way. And then on turn six, we're allowed, we're allowed to activate all that stuff, whatever is down there we could activate and begin moving uh, over towards the Odessa region to, to pick up VPs over there. So that's a, that's a quick look at the supply factors or the factors that go into supply in this game. I hope that we'll get to setting this up in the next couple of weeks or so. I just wanted to lay the maps out and have a look at, uh, at the whole exercise and see what was going on. All right, fellas, we'll talk to you all soon and uh, look forward to potentially sharing some of the gameplay with you as we, uh, as we progress. Ciao.